Welcome to the Manitoba Institute of Child Health. I'm Dr. Terry Clausen, CEO and Scientific Director and a Pediatric Researcher. And I'm Dr. Cheryl Rockman greenberg Professor and Head of the Department of Pediatrics and Child Health, University of Manitoba, and Medical Director, Child Health Program, Winnipeg Regional Health Authority, and I'm also a Pediatric Researcher. Dr. Greenberg and I are here to talk to you about why you should choose to be part of the research we do here at the Manitoba Institute of Child Health. The Manitoba Institute of Child Health, or as we refer to it as MITCH, was established in 2001. MITCH is the research division of the Children's Hospital Foundation of Manitoba. It is the only research institute dedicated exclusively to pediatric research in Manitoba and its surrounding areas. At the Research Institute, over 270 world-class pediatric medical researchers, technical staff, students, and support staff are involved in over $10 million of research and clinical activity each year. The Institute houses 60,000 square feet of state-of-the-art research space on the 5th and 6th floors. Mitch brings together researchers from a variety of health disciplines who share a common goal, improving the health of infants, children, and youth. By fostering a collaborative and innovative research environment right here in Manitoba, and by supporting the administrative and infrastructure needs of our researchers, we are working towards medical breakthroughs and cures for childhood illness. The Children's Hospital Foundation of Manitoba is the main operating funding source for the Research Institute. Mitch is committed to enhancing the quality of children's lives within our community and around the globe by focusing on certain areas of research. The leading research theme at the Institute is the biology of breathing. This theme brings together an influential group of researchers who are focused specifically on pediatric respiratory challenges, including asthma, the most common chronic condition affecting children in Canada, with 10% of Manitoba kids affected by the disease. Another research theme is the diabetes and metabolism theme. This theme was created to improve the health of children with diabetes by focusing on two main research areas. First, to gain a better understanding of why some children are more susceptible to diabetes than others. In particular, focusing on the maternal and early life factors that may render some children susceptible to diabetes. Second, to prevent complications of diabetes in youth living with diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes. Other areas being studied at the Institute include vaccines for pediatric infectious diseases, nutrition and metabolism, childhood obesity and physical activity in children and youth, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, genetics, neurosciences, gastroenterology, inflammatory bowel disease, dentistry, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, glycogen storage disease type 1A, pharmacology, autism, pediatric HIV, next generation sequencing platform, emergency care of children, and many more. We hope that you enjoy this informative video and learn why you should be part of our research. My name is Tom Hansen. Uh, I'm a pediatric kidney transplant specialist and uh, research is important uh, because there are a lot of things we still don't understand about how to really effectively care for the kids that we're, we're trying to help. My name is Dr. Geer Jung. I'm a clinical scientist here at the Research Institute and I'm a pediatrician and clinical pharmacologist and involved in uh, child health research uh, at Winnipeg Children's Hospital and um, my interest is in helping these kids have safe and effective medicines now and in the future. My name is Brandi Wicklow, I'm a pediatric endocrinologist and I do research because I think it's important to uh, further our medical discoveries in order for me to do my clinical practice um, in the best way possible. There's a number of people on my research team 
Uh, it includes transplant coordinators, it includes uh, our research coordinators, uh, it includes the entire clinical research unit, uh, all of whom help in some way or another to facilitate these research programs. It also includes uh, the uh, specialists who are part of the clinical program in pediatric nephrology, many of whom actively participate in caring for the patients that we, that we have in our studies. And most importantly, the research team includes the kids and their families, all of whom have agreed to be part of these studies and who are actually very enthusiastic about contributing. Uh, our family chose to be part of research because we were looking for treatments for my son's disease and we knew that someone had to start with the research, so we decided to participate in the Institute's research program. Having this uh, research facility here is uh, like a godsend for us. We we uh, we have to come back for every six months for checkups, and every time we it, it's just super convenient, super easy for us to, to get everything done. It's amazing that we have such a great facility so close um, to where we live because we live in Manitoba and um, just that there's so many people that are willing to help us and to uh, do the best that they can for Willem's life. Hi, I'm Susan Ackland. I'm the business manager of the Clinical Research Unit. There are clearly defined rules and regulations when it comes to research. These rules and regulations are outlined by the International Conference on Harmonization, Health Canada, the province, and our own institution. In addition, there are numerous safety measures in place to protect children during a clinical trial. If you or your child have been asked to participate, you must feel comfortable. Never feel pressured to join or feel that you will disappoint the healthcare professional. It must be an informed decision. It is important that you understand what is expected. There are many possible risks and benefits. You will never lose access to medical care if you decide not to participate. Every study has a research team that is trained and responsible for ensuring the safety of the participants and the running of the study. Talk to the study team ask questions. You will receive a document called an informed consent and maybe an assent. These documents will provide you with all the details of the study. Take time to read these documents. If you don't understand or have questions, ask and ask until you have your questions answered. Parents and children can say no. It's important that you have all of the information before making a yes or a no decision. On behalf of the researchers at Mitch, thank you for taking the time to view this video. Feel free to ask questions, get involved, and be part of changing lives forever. Mm -hmm.